you the power of god i i don't know but there are people god is raising to become mighty vessels i just saw an anointing rest on you this role in the name of jesus i don't know where you are but i pray may that grace now let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension in the name of jesus christ welcome to christocentric message on this channel you are going to get soul lifting messages faith-based content prayer drills and videos that would help you grow spiritually remember to subscribe to the channel like the video you are about to watch and comment on it stay blessed if you want to replicate the ark in your life then you have to follow the pattern of the construction also if anything is found wanting as far as the elements are concerned you may not be able to replicate the ark that hosts the presence of god are we blessed so let's look at the significance of this element and then we pray number one the first lesson we have to learn from the ark is that it was constructed by man the vessel that carried the ark was a representation of man here's what the bible says nevertheless the foundation of the lord standeth sure having this seal it says the lord knoweth them that are his and let every man that name the name of christ depart from iniquity and then the next verse says but in a great house he lists four kinds of vessels and their implication he says there are vessels of wood there are vessels of clay there are vessels of silver there are vessels of gold he says some vessels are unto dishonor and there are vessels that are unto dishonor if you want to become that vessel here is the condition if a man will purge himself he says that man will be a vessel unto honor meat or fit for the master's use so the first thing we have to deal with is man's participation. The discipline and the diligence of allowing your life to become that worthy habitation that can host the fullness of the presence and the power of God. If you're with me, say amen. The ark was made of choice wood, expensive, valuable material. It was not just made of careless wood it was it was meticulously built by the intelligence and the artistry of man number two for the sake of time what is the significance of the covenants the commandments they represent laws and they represent instructions can i tell you this if you want to host the presence of god within your life must be an accommodation for the principles of the kingdom and instructions the commandments represent instructions and these instructions notice that principally these instructions come from and through men they come from god but they come through men when god delivered the ten commandments he was the one who wrote it but the person who interpreted and explained it was moses the man any man who is not given to the reception of divine instructions can never truly host the glory of god are we learning something now we are constructing the ark in our own lives now that the first element that is needed is you the vessel must be sufficient not in yourself necessarily but that purging by the blood by the word to become a vessel of honor and then instructions we thrive and we excel and we command victory in this kingdom on the strength of the laws and the instructions that we receive this is why jeremiah chapter 3 and verse 15 says and i will give you shepherds pastors after my heart it says that they will feed you with knowledge and with understanding proverbs continue to ch to challenge us and said that the fear of the lord is the beginning of wisdom it says but fools despise instruction are we together 
you want to hold superior dimensions of the glory of God especially in this end time if you want the ark to be experientially constructed in and through your life then you must be prepared to walk with in keeping with the laws I'm not just talking of Old or New Testament I'm talking of laws the ordinances of the kingdom and then the instructions of the Lord and thou shall hear a voice from behind saying this is the way walk ye in it and if you do obey that instruction it says you will find rest for your soul are we learning the next element that must be captured in our life is the mystery of the rod of Aaron the rod of Aaron validated the priesthood ministry of Aaron so the rod there is a representation of priesthood you want your life to be an expression of the ark you must embrace the mystery of priesthood and the primary assignment of priesthood is to burn that incense the ministry of prayer your life will never truly be able to be a, a representation of the glory and the grace of God if priesthood is absent in your life Jesus came into the temple when he found people selling and buying and selling in the temple the zeal of the Lord ate him up and the Bible says he took whip when he beat them up this is what he said my house if it is truly my house it shall be called a house of prayer for all nations but you have turned it into a den of robbers many of you have heard me teach your house is either one of two things at any given time a house of prayer or a den of robbers a den of robbers means a place where thieves dwell and Satan is the principal thief that can come so if your life is not a house of prayer as that temple the next thing it becomes is a den of robbers where the thief can come to steal to kill and to destroy there's no being neutral at any given time this temple your house is either a house of prayer or a den of robbers the robbers will come as mysterious demonic afflictions the robbers will come as all kinds of oppressions but when it becomes a house of prayer the fire that is upon that altar will not allow any spirit that is not of the Christ to dwell there because the Bible says Jesus himself teaching said when a spirit is casted out of a man Jesus is teaching us now he says when that spirit comes out of a man it goes around through desert regions looking for a place not finding any place it will say I will return back there is something about the desert that makes the spirit not comfortable nobody is casting the spirit from the desert it will cast itself back and prefer staying in you do you know why because the desert is extremely hot so when your life simulates the condition of the desert that spirit will also not be able to stay within you was it not the fire from the fire that made the viper come out when there is no fire the viper can remain there priesthood hear me believers we must get to a point where genuine prayer becomes a lifestyle not something we do just to obtain things the primary assignment of prayer is for your transformation more than receiving requests the bible says and as he prayed speaking about jesus he says his garment his face became as white and his garment became as white and his countenance changed so prayer is principally a tool for transformation you evolve into superior versions of yourself when you pray you do not find your former self again after prayer the self that you now see is the powerful one is the great one is the anointed one bring a weak believer 
with no bearing in his life bring someone who does not know his left and his right submit him to the ministry of priesthood and watch an evolution happen a timid person will become a champion in the spirit if you want to host the glory of god especially in these end times let me tell you sincerely do not ignore the rod of aaron it's not just a rod it's a rod of priesthood you're not just going to stand and tell demons go away you will not just stand over cities and say i open the tulip gate no sir it will be at the instance of genuine priesthood he spake a parable to the end that men ought always to pray you have an assignment to register your name in the realm of the spirit so that demons will not just say jesus i know paul i know add your name joshua selman i know because they are witnesses to your priesthood we're discussing the ark remember the wood of akaya the cassia wood remember the commandments laws and instruction remember the rod of aaron priesthood now the next is the pot or the omer that carried manna the manna there talks about the ministry of the word jesus himself was speaking about this in matthew 4 he said man shall not live by bread alone but by every word every word the manner that does not decay the manner that could not go through corruption and the only seed we know that is incorruptible is that which is by the word of god listen to me the word of god defines the jurisdiction of his commitment to the believer God cannot be committed to the believer outside of the scope that the word of God allows him. He has chosen to exalt his word even above his name. This is the difference between the faith life and superstition. God is bound only by his word. That means if you want to get God committed to your life, it must be the, the legal basis upon which you will place your demands must be scripture. When Satan came to him, he didn't say i think he didn't say i wish he said it is written what gives us victory in this kingdom is what is written not what we want whatever you want you must find out whether it is written or not if what you want is not written it cannot happen what you want only happens when it is written please listen to me if you want to host the glory of God upon your life, your church, your business, it must be a ministry that has respect and value for scripture. It was written so that it cannot be changed. It is written. Matthew chapter 13 and verse 11, Jesus himself was teaching and he said it has been given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven we reign in this kingdom on the strength of the mysteries that we sustain a mystery is a hidden body of truth that is privy to a group of people we rise in this kingdom on the strength of the mysteries that we know there are mysteries that control speed there are mysteries that control restoration there are mysteries that control lifting. There are mysteries that control being anointed. There are mysteries that control exemption. There are mysteries that control prosperity. There are mysteries that control influence. Your assignment is to walk in partnership with the spirit of grace. And find for everyone that seek it, find it. The seed for finding is to seek. If you do not seek, you cannot have the harvest of finding. Proverbs chapter 18 and verse 1 says, Through desire a man, having separated himself, that he seeketh and he intermeddleth with all wisdom. Please let us obtain grace from God to go back to scripture and settle down. Otherwise our life will look superstitious yet will keep failing.
I believe the word of God. Why do I know the sick will be healed? Because it is written. Why do I know God will commit himself to your lifting tonight? Because it is written. Not because I am a man of God. Being a man of God is a secondary reason. The primary reason why all things happen is because it is written. John chapter 1 and verse 3. All things were made by him. And without him, without him means outside of his influence was not anything made that was made. That means when you neglect the word of God, the possibility of creation and manifestation has left you. It has to be at the instance of the word. Hebrews chapter 1 from verse 1 and 3 says, God who in sundry times and diverse manners spake to us in time past through the prophet had in these last days spoken to us through his son, which is the word, whom he had appointed to be heir over all things. And then when you read verse 3, he says, who being the brightness of his glory and the express image of his person and upholding how many things upholding my tomorrow upholding my tomorrow upholding my tomorrow through the word of his power up upholding my future my confidence is beyond the advantage or the disadvantage in a territory your confidence must be based on it is written it is written why will you succeed i have a great father you are joking woe unto him that puts his strength in a man even the word himself use it is written to defend himself the word of god didn't say my opinion the word submitted to it is written can i tell you this you must know how to defend your victory it is written why should i leave this family it is not we are members of a particular church that is wonderful there is a place for prophetic covering but i tell you the real reason why we excel in this kingdom is because it is written remember the manna it was kept here as a memorial that there is no victory for you if it is not written anything that is not written cannot happen the anointing of the spirit does not work at random the anointing of the spirit follows what is written so if you are making claims in prayer there is a verification system in the realm of the spirit before the anointing begins to move on that wise the anointing does not just come because you want it to come the anointing verifies whether that desire is consistent with what is written preachers let's stop preaching what we want and preach what is because what we want will not come to pass until it is written please sit down the lord is turning you into an ark now you know what makes the ark more than the object the participatory role that you have to play sitting down and waiting for God to do everything is a joke it took man to build the ark it will take you to make that place conducive for him you want to become an ark you must submit yourself to laws and instructions and then you must submit yourself to the ministry of priesthood you must learn to pray until you evolve into a vessel of honor. You can pray yourself from wood and become clay. Pray yourself from clay and become silver. Pray yourself from silver until you become gold. Hear me? When we pray, we truly evolve. Yes, sir. The version of you your future is looking for has not yet become. So your future is looking for a version of you that you have not become. Ah. The dream you saw about your greatness, 
that dream was designed to happen to another version of you not this version and your destiny keeps waiting so it looks like you are not moving forward and god is saying no i want to bless you but there is a version of you that must carry that anointing the anointing you are looking for for nations cannot come on this version I'm seeing the spirit of prayer just coming on 11 people. This is what I'm seeing. Please just help them. 11 people. Now you understand that prayer is for your growth, for your evolution. Hear me, hear me, you can pray an old realm out of your life into a new season. You can use prayer to close seasons and open new ones. Can I be honest with you? If we truly want to become this ark, we must obtain grace from God to move past just the realm of meeting needs to the realm where you stand with God and you can grow to a point of stature where God can trust you with the grace for nations, not just things. We are not talking about having one or two things that God can carry the destiny of a territory and say take if they are saved it's your fault if they are not saved it's your fault look at the rewards of those who were faithful with the talents that were given to them authority over nations believers let's return to the genuine ministry of priesthood more than just give me things I'm not saying those things are wrong you can listen to my message teach us to pray i taught there about the mysteries the dimensions of prayer there is a dimension of prayer that is for supplication and petitions but primarily prayer is a tool for fellowship and in that fellowship there is evolution you know you have met him because you change the protocol of encounter is that when you meet him you are changed and we all with unveiled face it says beholding the glory it's not the glory that changes it's you that changes hear me when the animals looked at what jacob put they were the ones who were changed into what they were seeing and then the manna which is the word of god ignorance is dangerous in this end time you must know what is written please sit down the Bible basically contains three things. Am I wasting your time? Every time you open up scripture, the Bible contains three things that you must never forget. Number one, the Bible contains promises. The promises of God represent the scope of his commitment to you. There are promises that he has made. Excellent things he has spoken about his Zion. You must know the promises of God as revealed from scripture what has God said he would do because when you can find what God said he will do I assure you he will do it Genesis 21 and verse 1 please give it to us verse 1 and 2 Genesis 21 read with me please one to read as he has uh-huh and the Lord did unto Sarah when he speaks he does except he has not said it so you must find his promises Sarah conceived and bare Abraham a son in her old age at the set time which the Lord had spoken promises that's the first thing we search for in scripture every time you open your Bible your eyes must look for promises. Lord, what have you said concerning my life? 
what have you said concerning my destiny it is only what he has said that comes to pass integrity is the ability to say and do if God has not said why should he do so when you find what he has said then because he's a God of integrity the Bible says God is not a man that he should lie that means men lie men don't lie because they are bad they lie because they are men hallelujah God is not a man that he should lie not the son of man that he should repent you can trust what he said now listen carefully the second thing that is contained in scripture are principles principles represent the modus operandi of the kingdom how the kingdom operates when you study scripture you find therein principles jeremiah chapter 6 and verse 16 he says to stand and to ask look at that path that old path stand in the way and ask for the old path it says wherein is the good way and when you have found it walk in it jesus the word also called himself the way there is a revelation of jesus called jesus the way how things are done in the kingdom there is a way god lifts people there is a way god restores there is a way god anoints there is a way god increases there is a way god def defends people you have to understand the ways of god before he showed moses his glory the first thing he showed moses were his ways so promises principles the third thing we find in scripture are prophecies revelations about the future to be able to give you hope and to give you comfort we find in scripture prophecies so that we know that we are overcomers because of the prophecies that we have seen every time you open your bible you are searching for these three things promises principles prophecies if your life is built upon the integrity of it is written the dust will come and go every other thing will come and go but because this house is built on a rock it will stand and it will remain the same thing that happened to the house on the sand happened to the house on the rock it was not the superstructure it was the foundation Jesus said this is how I will build my church I will build my church with a formula and if this formula is is honored the gates of hell will not prevail against her build your life on scripture build your life on it is written and you have nothing to fear the uncertainties that plague our world the uncertainties that plague ministries plague regions are enough to make us fear but the word of god can give us confidence because we know that it is written prophecy already told us the end of it we know who has won ah. there are times that you are watching a movie and someone who has watched it before is sitting with you he cannot have your anxiety they kill the actor and you are, frust you are frustrated i've wasted one hour i thought this man will win and the person says you just keep watching and you are wondering what where is your confidence coming from the confidence is coming from the fact that he's watched it before he watched it right to the point that he saw the end and i can tell you this right here already told me the end of my life He will not suffer my food to be I carry your presence Who am I? Your mind is so full of me I 
have found the end of my destiny here that I know the thoughts that I think towards you say at the Lord that they are thoughts of peace and not of evil to bring you a future and there is a difference between having a future and having an end you can have a future but maybe not have an end your today was a future to last week future is relative end is fixed I am secured in both I have a future and I have an end the final element and then we begin to pray is the messy seat that overlays it there is something called a messy seat exodus chapter 25 when you read 17 to 22 just write it for reference the messy seat truly means the mercy of god it's as simple as clear as honest as that what is the mercy of god the mercy of god is a factor that is, is an invention from his intelligence to be able to deal with man in spite of the vacillations of man the mercy of god was an invention that was custom made for man god builds the idea of mercy so that in spite of the frailties of man there is still a guarantee that he can end this is the reason why Mercy is not an attribute of God that angels and other beings experience. That's why Satan cannot be forgiven. Because mercy is not within his jurisdiction. And to tell you how determined God is for us to be partakers of his mercy. He tied his mercy with time. So that every 24 hours as time resets, his mercy also resets. It's in your Bible. He says his mercies are new every morning. hallelujah the mercy of god is not a license for licentiousness but it's an advantage the mercy of god gives me guarantee that in spite of my frailties i will still be able to birth the purposes of god the mercy of god is a covenant that we had with david as a result of the desire of david to build him a house he came and he entered the covenant of mercy with David. He says, no matter what you do, David, I have covenanted with you. Saul did not have his mercy. That's why he lost his throne. Saul was more well behaved than David. Oh yes, read your Bible. Saul was by far more well behaved than David. But the mercies of David, you are good and your mercy is forever. Hallelujah. You are good and your mercy is forever. Hallelujah. Now, watch this. All healing all deliverances all restorations stem from that department of his mercy it is on the strength of god's mercy that we can guarantee that someone who has been oppressed that a family that legally gave themselves to the devil as lawful captives when it has to do with victory over captivity is not power you need is the mercy of god There are spirits you don't just bind and cast. There are rules of engagement. There is a kind of captivity called lawful captivity. It is this kind that we overcome by the blood of the lamb. For instance, the legal access that Satan had over us by reason of the fall of Adam could not be casted away. No. God did not use power to save man. It was the blood and his death. His power was demonstrated in that mercy.
Are we together now? So tonight, I have two assignments in this place. I've just completed one. To challenge you that you can become a mobile ark. Gather the elements that they gathered. Obey what they obeyed. That glory will rest upon you the same way it rested upon them. An individual can be a carrier of that presence. You can take that presence everywhere. Anybody who drags you who is a Philistine will soon know what he carried. You don't have to tell people I'm dangerous. Let the devil try you. And what happened to the Philistines? When they took the ark, they stole it. The ark that was not talking was bringing havoc in the camp of the enemy. But when the same ark was taken to the house of Obed Edom, in 90 days, 90 days, that means if you are employed in three months of your being in that office, there are things that should begin to happen as a testament that the ark has arrived. Like I was teaching you yesterday. Please, this is not some Pentecostal motivation. Believe me, it is true. You can be a living, breathing carrier of this ark. That way, when people are tired of trouble, they invite you to their house. Who do we invite to just sit down for five minutes? And you just sit down in their house and they say, just to say, God bless you. And you stand up and they start rejoicing because right there the five minutes visitation it was not just a man that came the man is the wood the earthen vessel but there is the excellency of what has come upon it when you stretch your hands to heal the sick it is not the mortal hands of a man no 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 just help those under the anointing when you stretch your hands to deliver the demons are not seeing hands you are the one who is seeing a hand the demons are seeing the same act that same act let the weight of your glory cover us let the light of your river flow let the truth of your kingdom let it rain let it rain in us let the weight of your glory flow. listen listen one day I was in the place of prayer and I was caught up in the realm of the spirit and I began to hear the song of angels and this was the song that I heard let the weight of your glory fall let it cover all the earth let the weight of your glory fall let it cover all the earth let it cover all the earth let it cover all Let it cover all the earth. Oh, let the weight of your glory fall. Let the weight of your glory fall. You're here in this place tonight. Before I begin to pray for the sick, I know that our time is gone. In the construction of the ark, there are elements. The first of them that I taught you 
is the wood. The wood had to avail itself to be used to create that habitation. There are people here scattered across the overflow. All of the overflows following online, following from whatever nation. Before we even begin to minister to people, I just sense in my heart to make the altar call very quickly. You are here and you are saying, Apostle, I desire to be this living ark of God's presence. Perhaps you were not here yesterday or you were here yesterday, but you had not made up your mind to make this decision. Our time is fast spent. Here's how we're going to do it. Every overflow, when I make the call, you just go to the front of your screen and you stand there. For time's sake, I'm going to count one to five. There are people here who are saying, Apostle, I want to avail myself for the sake of your glory. The glory of the only begotten, even full of grace and truth. You want me to pray for you before we start? I'd like you to run like there's fire on the mountain. I'm going to count five. Run and come and stand. One, run to Jesus. Make sure you understand what you're doing. You're coming out to give your life to Jesus Christ. Two. All the overflows, please come out. I hear the chains falling. Hey, I hear the chains falling. Keep coming. Let it end tonight. I hear the chains falling. I hear the chains falling. Hallelujah. My God, I already sense such, such power in this place. I'm going to pray for you, all of you who are in front. Many of you are rededicating your lives to Jesus. The Bible says, let it be known to you the message of Peter, that this same Jesus has been exalted today as both Lord and Christ. This is the one we preach, Christ crucified, Christ resurrected. Many of you are coming here tonight. God is giving you a new beginning. Do not be ashamed. We are a family. Those following online, you who is following from your home, you're following everywhere across the globe. God is giving you an opportunity to make Jesus Lord. Hallelujah. Please lift your right hand. Say after me as loud as you can. All of you in front, all the overflow, same. And those following in your home, say, Lord Jesus, tonight I believe in you. That you are the son of God. I obtain your mercy. And I obtain your grace. I ask. That you forgive me. And in the name of Jesus. I declare. That I am a recipient. Of eternal life. Jesus Christ. Is my savior. My lord. And my king. From today, I go forward ever and backward never. Amen. Thank you, Father, for these ones that you have brought to yourself. I pray in the name of Jesus. By the authority of scripture, I declare your sins forgiven. And I declare that he gives you a new experience from today. I commend you to the ministry of the word and the ministry of the spirit. I pray that you be established and grounded in righteousness and that you become mighty vessels for the master's use in jesus name i pray now very quickly just make sure you obtain a card there will be counselors giving you a card once you obtain it you can return back to your seat and just be patient and follow the remaining part of the meeting hallelujah please everybody rise we have a few minutes i want to pray for you tonight is a miracle service and it's going to be a very quick one because our time is gone. Please let them return back to their seat. Just be patient with them. So let hope, let it rise. 
Darkness trembles in your holy light. One more time. Let hope. Let it rise. Darkness trembles in your holy light. One more time. Let hope. Let it rise. Hallelujah. The Lord, by what He is going to be doing within the few minutes that we have, miracles and signs and wonders are a message from God to His people. Two messages basically. Number one, every time you see a miracle, is a revelation of the love of God to his people. He's telling you that I have loved you with an everlasting love and I have drawn you with my loving kindness. Number two, miracles are an attestation as to the fact that he is still Lord. I shared with you that there are four things that a man must have dominion over to be called Lord. Number one is the earth. Number two, the fullness, the resources. Number three, the mind control systems. And number four, the inhabitants. And the Bible says the earth is the Lord's. The fullness thereof, the walls and they that dwell therein. We're going to be praying for the sick. I'll be ministering to you. We'll do that very fast within the time that we have. Please let your heart be open. You didn't come to waste your time. And those in the overflows, I'd like you to open up your heart knowing that the power of God will touch you where you are and the Lord himself will bring you victory. Are you ready for tonight? Lord, give me a visitation. Please pray in one minute. Give me a visitation that will change my life. Give me a visitation that will change my life. Hallelujah. 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 Now, let me start by praying for people who have been oppressed. There are people here who have been oppressed of the devil when peter was preaching in the house of cornelius you don't have to come out don't worry I'll, I'll just give you the instructions on what to do the bible says peter was preaching and he said how god anointed jesus of nazareth acts chapter 10 and verse 38 with the holy ghost he said and with power and the bible says he went about healing not all they who were sick you call it sickness he called it oppression and it tells you the oppressor the devil for god was with him there is nowhere i find the devil that i will leave him to go free for oppressing lives and oppressing destinies i want to pray for you now and please as much as possible ushers now please listen whether you are an usher or not i want you to do well to just cooperate some of you are members the ushers may be limited but I want you to please help them. Anyone who is under the anointing close to you, please do well and be your brother's keeper so that we minimize people enjoying themselves. Are we together? The Lord Jesus appeared to me many years ago and he gave me an instruction and he told me that every city he would send me to and every nation and every territory, the light that came from him to me, that there must be someone in that meeting that that same light will come upon and i believe tonight please help them i believe that this light it brings healing it brings miracles i want to pray for you now there are people who have been oppressed of the devil please i want you to bring them out now these people i'm about to pray for at the count of three i want you to shout the name jesus every oppression that is not of god every demonic orchestration of darkness 
that has sat on the destinies of people in the name of Jesus Christ who is the son of the living God as you shout it is Tehillah the shout that brings down Jericho I decree and declare at the mention of that name the one exalted as Lord and Christ let there be deliverance for you right now are you ready please bring them out one two three shout Jesus I command every devil now let your destinies go bring them out every devil I command liberty freedom by the power that is in the name of Jesus wherefore God has so highly exalted him and given him a name that is above every other name I decree and declare be delivered now orchestrations of ancestry activities of witchcraft connected to bloodline tonight we come by the rod of the higher priesthood be delivered in the name of Jesus bring them out I cause every devil we are still praying hey, my deliverer is coming my deliverer is standing by my deliverer is coming my deliverer is standing by my deliverer is coming my deliverer is standing by now, the lord is opening my eyes and i'm seeing families there are whole families that have been under bondage i want to pray now there's fire coming from kapaka to katea bring them out in the name of jesus every family here under the sound of my voice that has been under any demonic siege at the count of three let there be liberty one two three be delivered now be delivered now Bring them out. Help them, please. Ena barakosh kata branda kata kada kata. Shakros kati barus dasiye nekata. Empre kete kete bala. Let an end come in the name of Jesus. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. He went about doing good. hallelujah we are praying who is Ebenezer our time is up I have to pray for the sick but I'm hearing a name Ebenezer who is Ebenezer Ebenezer you are wearing like a blue like a check shirt is that Ebenezer is there someone like that what's please verify Ebenezer. don't match the people Ebenezer. where are you coming from I'm coming from this side. I want to pray for you. Where are you coming from? I mean your state. Ekiti state. Ekiti state. Yes. I want to pray for you. That everything that is connected to witchcraft, I stretch my hands, be delivered now. In the name of Jesus the Christ, I bring you life. That lady, this one, you on red lifting your hands. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. oppression goes forever over your life sir is this your wife i'm seeing the lord take something out of her body this is what i'm seeing i'm seeing something leaving her body that the devil has planted to destroy her in the name of jesus who is the christ of god i command that devil i call you by name in the name of jesus the bible says whosoever the son sets free is free indeed therefore we cause every devil madam i'm here to pray for the sick but i stretch my hands right now let there be a miracle for you in the presence of your husband don't worry she doesn't have to come to the front in the name of jesus be healed now be healed now be healed now be healed now is it amarachi is there something like that 
Amarachi, who is that? Amarachi, I'm hearing a name. Amarachi. The woman I'm seeing is not very tall. You bob your hair. You bob your hair. Amarachi, is there someone like that? What is your name? Oh, your lifting has come. Oh, your lifting has come. Look at me, my dear. Where are you coming from? Ababa. Ababa. Where is that? What state is that? Okay, here. Yeah. I want to pray for you and your family. Huh? You are the father. Baba, come. The Lord is visiting this family. You see why it's good to invite people to church? Because God can just save a whole nation. This is not about a man of God being powerful. I'm seeing one more person. You are three. Who is that? I'm seeing one more person connected to this family. In the name of Jesus. Huh? I read the Christopher. Where? I read the Christopher. I invited him. The song we I don't know where he is. Because I'm seeing three people, not two. Where is the third person? What's the name? I read the Christopher. If, if it's not here because of time, we just have to pray so that we'll redeem the time. Sir, can I pray for you? You love Jesus? Very much. This is you see the beauty of coming to church. I was glad when they said unto me. God. The house of God is not a nuisance to civilization. We are a blessing. I pray for you right now. You and your daughter and all who are connected to you, sir. I pray for you. Four years, you are yet to have a child. This is what I'm saying. Four years. Who is that person? Please make sure you are married. Four years. husband and wife you are both in the choir husband and wife place your hand god is going to give you a baby boy help her out now i release you in the name of jesus christ celebrate your miracle the hand of god marvelous hand of god You two, how many years? Four years. Is your husband here? No, he's not here, sir. Four years. You're trusting God. You believe in miracles? <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. What's your name? Hinedu. Who is the head of this choir? Are you the head of the choir like the like the coordinator this because this is what i'm seeing on her because the lord is speaking to me and saying he's taking away the shame of the coordinator and i'm saying because she's not dressed like i'm not seeing her dress in the same uniform like them my dear in the name of jesus we come by the god of heaven and we declare let your womb be open now let it be open now in the name of jesus christ this woman is out too for the same reason i'll pray for you please don't come out at random if you make this let's let's just don't worry god is going to visit you are we together now god is going to visit you The power of God is coming on someone at the ministers, just one person. I just saw light. The Lord is shifting you into a new season. That's what the Lord is telling me. He's shifting you into a new season. I pray for you, all of you who are here for the sake of time, we have to rush. In the name of Jesus Christ. There is a businessman here that God wants to restore. 
you have lost a lot of money this year i have to pray for you i don't mean somebody who is starting don't worry i know most this is a business place we are talking about the east here so i'm sure everybody will come out if i've said don't just settle down there there is a specific person that the lord is revealing to me i don't know what you do is it is it something that has to do with construction i'm seeing that you've lost a lot of money if there is someone like that i want to pray for you while i quickly pray for them father everyone who is in the name of jesus like eli madam this woman lifting her hands i'm seeing oil coming on your head this is what i'm seeing the lord is revealing this to me right now i stretch my hands and i declare in the name of jesus let everything that represents oppression in your life and your family let it come to an end right now in the name of jesus christ let it come to an end right now there is someone holding photos you came here with photos pictures of your family members please if there's someone like that please verify so that it doesn't look like well if, if it's not i'm not saying if you have photos in your bag you are holding photos let me pray for you it's just the instruction that the lord is giving to me for everyone here trusting god for the fruit of the womb i declare a miracle for you right now in jesus name i pray and sir i pray for you and your daughter and this hold on is he your son or your brother my brother same father same mother younger brother younger brother who is christopher Christopher. What's your name? Christopher Arej. From where? From, I'm from Amechala, Elugezike. Amechala, Elugezike. I'm, I'm going to pray for you because uh, please don't feel I'm not a prophet of doom. God will save you. But I'm looking at this man and I'm seeing him inside a coffin. I'm not, that's why I said, don't be afraid. This is where ministers of life, I'm just revealing to you. You see the power of scripture because it is written is greater than I saw. no matter what it is that you see dominion is the ability to submit what you saw to it is written this is how ministers of the gospel the administration of the prophetic must be done with respect to the authority of scripture that means regardless what you see if it's inconsistent with what is written that becomes your assignment to make what you saw or what you heard turn and become what is written that's what it means to bring every thought to the obedience of Christ. This is how prophecy edifies the body. When prophecy submits to it is written, it now begins to edify. Otherwise, it will plant fear. If I leave this man right now, I have not blessed him. I will not only plant fear, I will plant fear to his family members who are watching. But dominion is the ability to bring any other thing, including what you saw. To the obedience of christ i'm saying this because the lord is also helping to train people in administering the gifts of the spirit so that we don't end up planting fear and a conference like this is done and people are worse than they were before it started no the character of the operation of scripture is that it must take away fear because god is love and perfect love cast out fear in the name of Jesus, sir. No, I'm, I'm, don't worry. I lay my hands upon you as a point of contact. Who is this one? Your wife? Who is this lady? Okay. Don't worry, sir. Wherever they are, as you are standing here, by faith, we agree for this family. Let there be transformation right now. In sign the name of Jesus, I declare that anything that is inconsistent with the character of the Christ in your life, we declare that it comes to an end now for all of you who have photos i lay my hands on those photos prophetically and in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god let there be miracles for you let there be miracles for you in jesus name please return to your seat i want to pray for the sick now very quickly please return to your seat so that we'll have space just believe that it is done i believe in miracles i'm a miracle myself We make miracle walk, promise tree, light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. We call you a way maker.
to pray for the sick but the lord is giving me an instruction i'll pray for the sick please i want to be your brother's keeper over this prayer i want to pray and i will tell you why every meeting i go to god gives me this instruction please whether you are an usher or not i want you to just help the people there is a grace for speed that can come upon an individual that can come upon ministries the Bible says, and the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah and he ran on barefoot. He overtook the chariots of Ahab even down to Israel. Truly, God can compress time. Dominion over time is real dominion. Speed is a system of advantage given by God to men to help us actualize destiny. I want to pray. The reason why I'm saying you should help people is because people will start running. I want you to just hold them, bring them out here quickly. We're going to do this very fast. I apologize for the time, sir, sincerely. Hallelujah. Are you ready? Father, in the name of, ah, my goodness, my God. Look, I'm just seeing fire rest on people. Right now, I declare, at the count of three, may this grace was be. Help them, please. Help them, please. Help them, please. Help them, please. I decree and declare, every delay over anyone's life, I come by the rod of a higher priesthood at the count of three. Receive speed. One, two, three. Take that grace. Take that grace. Take that grace. Take that grace. Inside, outside, the overflows. Take that grace. Speed in ministry. Speed in business. Speed in your accomplishment. I take 10 years. And I put it in one year. I take one year and I put it in one year. Ten years in one year. One year in one month. In the name of Jesus Christ. I declare over families here. Receive speed in Jesus name. Speed in Jesus name. Speed in Jesus name. Speed in Jesus' name. Speed in Jesus' name. Speed in Jesus' name. I have seen fire fall on the choir. This is what I'm just seeing. Take that fire. Right now, help them please. Take that fire. Take that fire. In the name of Jesus Christ. Speed is coming upon your life. Speed is coming upon your destiny in the name of Jesus Christ. Everyone held by any chain of delay in the name that is above all names. I'm praying again for individuals and for families. I break that chain. Let that chain of delay be broken now. Be broken now. Be broken now. Hear me. When the glory of God came upon Aaron's rod, in one night without a root, it boarded. One night without a root. everything that has refused to walk in your life we stand under the corporate anointing here and in the name of jesus is the master we have toiled all night nevertheless i speak to you go back and expel go back and expel go back and expel go back and expel Please lay your hands where you are trusting God for healing right now. I want you to believe in the healing power of Jesus. For all of you who have come out here, I declare that this grace you have contacted, let it begin to speak immediately. 
immediately immediately who is Jennifer 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 I'm hearing a name Jennifer in the name of Jesus Christ the Lord is rolling reproach from your family he's rolling away reproach right now rolling away reproach right now in the name of Jesus he said I wept for no man was worthy to open the book and unlock the scroll and the elder tapped me and said weep not for the lion of the tribe of Judah even the root of David is worthy hallelujah let this be the beginning of seasons of speedy achievements please lay your hands wherever you are trusting God for a miracle I want to pray for the sick now sir this is our father I, I presume you look like an Indian family am I right on that I want to pray for you the Lord wants to take away sickness I'm looking at a thermometer go up and down this has to do with high blood pressure I want to pray for you you believe in miracles sir can I pray for you you can just stay there no problem you don't have to come out I'll pray for you I just just to let you know that God is bringing a visitation God is bringing a visitation please lay your hands where you are trusting God for healing you can stand in for someone to those of you who are in front here please go back to your seat rejoicing anyone please go back to your seat rejoicing anyone here who if it's a part of your body you cannot touch just make contact with your chest please do that all the overflows just lay your hands where you are trusting God for a miracle right now I believe in miracles I truly do I believe in the manifestation of God's power help her please some of you are already healed right from when you were coming overflows lay your hands everywhere I want to pray for you now listen for the sake of time I do not want and I do not intend to stretch us beyond time but very quickly for the sake of time this is what I want us to do as soon as I pray for you, some of you checking yourself from the time you came out here, there are all kinds of miracles that have happened. But very quickly, as soon as I pray for you, the power of God is going to touch you. You will be healed. I want the moment you confirm your miracle, I want you to quickly run and stand here. Please, if we can have one or two pastors here to just help us on that. We'll do it very fast. Take a few of the testimonies. We'll do the final impartation and we're done for the night. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. After a loud shout, the healing power of Jesus will begin to move. Not your shout. There is someone under the power of the Holy Spirit right now who will shout loud to the hearing of everybody. Honestly, sometimes I don't know why God does that. Now I'm ready to pray for you. In the name of Jesus, lay your hands. Agree with me in prayer. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the Habakatos Katepata. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I take authority over every devil of darkness. The spirit behind disease, sickness and infirmity. I declare let God's people go free now. everywhere following wherever you are I declare unto you be healed right now be healed right now every bone condition be healed right now if you're here and you're on a wheelchair or you're using crutches or on a stretcher lift it up and stand up now in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ every blind eyes I command be open now every blind eyes be open now every deaf ear be open now 
every blood infection every blood in apakato scatter i'm seeing god healing people of hepatitis b be healed right now be healed right now in the name of jesus christ some of you have lost time some of you have lost things i decree and declare let there be supernatural restoration if there is anyone here that is trusting god for a job or trusting god for some sort of establishment structural establishment in the name that is above all names i decree and declare by the power that raised christ from the dead be established now i want to declare advancement over your life the bible says it was the lord that caused moses and aaron to advance it is god that causes men to advance men do not just move i pray for you where you have you have encompassed this mountain long enough therefore i prophesy go higher i prophesy go forward go forward go forward go forward go forward please hear me i speak to you in the name of jesus like it happened to the philistines anybody who troubles you goes down instantly please believe it we're wrapping up can i pray for you if there is anyone holding what is yours tonight in this place we overturn we overturn we overturn we overturn until it enters your hand in the name of jesus christ anyone here and any family here marked for death that you will not see the end of december in the name of jesus we cause the spirit of death over your life i prophesy over your life whether you are flying in the air whether you are going on road whether it's by the sea be divinely protected in the name of jesus Can I pray for your prayer life as I round up? Whatever has destroyed your passion for God, your passion for the ministry of prayer, in the name of Jesus, this night, we set your prayer life on fire again. We set your prayer life on fire again. The grace to pray, the grace to be consistent, the discipline to travel, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for your word study life whatever has destroyed your passion for the word in the name of Jesus let there be restoration this night hear me I want to destroy wrong associations from your life as we round up just help those under the anointing Jonah entered a boat and made people to lose so many things he didn't talk associations have prophetic implications jesus entered the same boat and yet he saved many people from destruction hallelujah apostle paul was in a boat and he told the people do not fear an angel has appeared to me he has told me there shall be no loss and they went safely and arrived at an island called melita i pray for you anyone who is connected to your destiny who is carrying a negative prophetic atmosphere i separate you from them right now hallelujah finally anyone here and any family here suffering from oppressions connected to ancestry 
connected to bloodline patterns you are seeing what happened to others coming the bible declares that we have been called out of every tribe and every tongue and every nation therefore in the name of jesus be delivered from everything connected to ancestry and for those who are members of house on the rock church enugu the bible declares that a worker is deserving of his wages your pastor has so honorably honored you I lend my voice and my faith with your pastor, the angel over this house. And I decree and declare unto you, be blessed in the name of Jesus. 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 The name of Jesus. Over the territory of Enugu, we decree that everything that is not of God, we use this meeting as a point of contact to speak to the east of the Niger. Hear the word of the Lord. We decree and declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead, there must be peace in your region. Everything that represents violence, everything that represents bloodshed, everything that represents the activities of terrorism, we command the earth to fight wickedness. In the name of Jesus Christ. And I decree and declare finally. Over the church in Enugu. You will never lose the fire of revival. Dearly beloved. I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can. To help them bless. Check our home page. For more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. The phase of development. Lord. Grant me the discipline.